Hey, so today I was gonna go get a haircut, but unfortunately the haircut location that I go to is closed on Sundays and Mondays. Today is Monday. So instead, I decided to go and do a few zero to 60 pulls in my focus, just because I have never actually recorded myself doing it. Um, then on top of that, I wanted the record of it just for myself. And also what I noticed is that over time, the car is definitely not pulling nearly as hard. So one, that's also to do, I'm in Lubbock right now, so it's up at 3,200 feet of elevation compared to Dallas, which is down at about 700 feet of elevation. Uh, right now, it's still 87 inside the tank, what I did my pulls with. Um, generally, I fill up with 86 as well. From the butt dyno, I don't feel anything, any difference whatsoever. The engine seems just as heavy, revs the same RPMs. Um, yeah, I just want to do a few pulls just to compare. Um, one, Lubbock to Dallas on 87 octane and then later I really want to do a 91 pull see if there's any difference at all I I feel like there is a difference but only a true timer will actually be able to tell and then what else and then if I ever do end up getting the car tuned probably not but if I do I want to have a video record of me doing a stock pull so and I did it in multiple different modes I did it in drive I did it in sport I did it in sport, uh, leaving it in gears and forcing it to go all the way to red line. And then what else? I also did uh, basically a launch where I held the brake and the gas pedal, let it revved up to its uh, stock rev limit, I guess you could say, or stock launch RPM of about like 2800 RPM. Again, both in sport and with sport using the uh, manual gear mode. So, yeah. So people don't think I'm crazy for wanting to put premium fuel in my vehicle. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm crazy. I really am. Um, there's a single sentence inside the owner's manual that mentions premium fuel, and it's this. Premium fuel will provide improved performance. That's it. Who, who knows? I'm going to try it out with 87. I just did 60 runs with 87. So now I'm going to go and do 91 here in Lubbock. And when I get back to... Dallas after my finals are done I'm gonna try out 93 and see if there actually is the benefit to filling up with premium besides just fuel mileage I will say actually not even with fuel mileage I noticed no difference fuel mileage so I've tried with different blends um, 87 91 93 they all get the same MPG so the only difference would be performance and if I can not fill in the butt dyno then there's no point so but I'll I'm still gonna do it just for the time, so we'll see. I feel paralyzed.